In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I am Father Joseph Mukasa Muonge, promoter of the devotion to the Uganda martyrs. I'd like to welcome you once again to this program. At Namugongo, when one looks at the basilica, one sees 22 big pillars. What is that? Each of the pillars represents a martyr. Kizito has one, Barikudembe has one, Chazruanga has one, and others. When we look at the lake, we should not overlook the fact that it was the initiative of the late Monsignor Lawrence Mbwega. At the beginning of 1960, parents of the area of Namgongo agreed with Monsignor, who was not a Monsignor yet, whose father, Lawrence Mbwega, to bake bricks for new structures at Uganda Matters Primary Boarding School, Namugongo. Now they had to look for a place, a proper place, where the bricks could be made. They all agreed that where there was a swampy area was the proper place. That was a swamp, swampy area. So they started making bricks to construct, like I have said earlier, more structures of the school because the school had been there the school had been there already in 1948 the school was in place namugongo boys had been there in 1924 but we are talking about Namugongo girls. They made bricks. After the noble exercise, there remained ponds. The late Monsignor Mbwega decided to bring a type of fish. Unfortunately, that type of fish had a lot of bones. Monsignor Mbwega told me shortly before he died that schools around on a, week, uh, on a weekly basis would join him down there as he was taking care of the fish in the ponds. At the same time, he grew sugar canes and yams around. School children who used to join him at the end of the day would be sure that the Monsignor would show gratitude to them by providing them some of the fish or some of the sugar canes and yams. When people complained, he changed the mind. But also, pupils of Namugongo boys who were found not to have celebrated, celebrated Mass on Sunday 
one of the punishments that they would be given was to send them at the place where Father Mbwega was doing some work. But those who came angry because of the punishment would go back home in the evenings with some fish. Parents came and complained to Father Mbweka. He listened to them. What did they say? You give our children fish. No, he was a very kind person. But they might die because of that. We too, because we share with them, might die because of the lots of bones in the type of fish. Monsignor Mbweka gave up the, the, the work for the sake of the health of his flock. He continued working there. Before the Pope, Pope Paul VI, came to Uganda, the late Emmanuel Cardinal Supuka toiled to find a proper place where Mass would befittingly be celebrated. And he chose that very spot. Graders were brought and they started work there. That was before Pope Paul VI visited Uganda. And that's how we got an enlargement of that area where today we celebrate Mass. He added on that at the moment the water disappeared. So they had to bring to bring water tanks, pour water into what had caused that? Yes, as the big vehicles were extending, extending now what is the lake, the, the the springs were tampered with because of the big wheels. Later, when the water tanks were brought, oh, water started coming out again. Monsignor Mbweka continued saying that those were the beginnings of the lake from a swamp to ponds to the lake. Later, when Pope John Paul II was to come, again it was extended. It was extended. And the top authority at Lubaka was greatly interested and participated in the enlargement of the lake to the size in which it is today. Thanks be to the late Emmanuel Cardinal Supuka. Thanks be to the late His Grace Dr. Cyprian Kizetolwanga who did a lot, having been given the responsibility by the late Cardinal. And later when he became Archbishop of Kampala, he continued the work of beautifying the place, including the lake of the Uganda martyrs. Now, people come and some people return 
Some say I came here suffering from this. I took the water and uh, it, it was God's mercy that I got healed of this. But the intercession was through the Uganda martyrs. Now, we collect such information and present it to the authorities. Possibly some time later, something will be said. But the fact is some people come. We can't say that it, it is out of faith because the lake is at the grounds where St. Charles Luanga was martyred on the 3rd of June, 1886. Sometime, some Americans were there, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I went to welcome them. But in my presentation, in my address to them, I told them, but before you use the water, please boil it first. How? Oh, one of them shouted at me, Father, you don't know what you are talking about. When you boil the water, the blessings evaporate. Oh, and the man was serious. But the conclusion was, he was talking out of faith, like one of his colleagues. He said to me, because she thought I was offended. I said, Father, don't be offended. It's out of faith that he has said that, forgive him. That's the lake. Um, Father, you were talked about the basilica. However, um, what makes it a basilica? What's the difference? Why is it not a church? Yes, a church can't be raised to the rank of a basilica. It is the Holy Father only that can pronounce a church a basilica, depending on the significance of that church. Something great must have taken place in that church. He can raise it to the rank of a basilica. And the basilicas are divided into two. There are minor basilicas, like the one of Namugongo. But there is a major basilica, like the one in Rome, the seat of the universal church. So the other one is a major, and it's understandable. St. Peter's Basilica in Rome cannot be at the same footing with the Basilica of Namugongo. The one of Namugongo is a minor basilica, the other one is a major basilica. But it is the Holy Father himself that can proclaim thus. Bye.